Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 3 Championship Mode for Race 9 and 24. We're going to Dover, and we've been undefeated this season, and it's quite disgusting, and Dover might be another case for that today. Maybe maybe not, maybe so, I'm not sure. So, uh, setting the same as usual, nothing's going to change with that, and uh, here's our points. Everything, for the most part, looks decently accurate. Dave Reagan's way too high up in points, I think, in my humble opinion, but yeah, it's been a weird season when we get further in the back because Landon Castle's ahead of Alex Bowman, Logano, and Al Marola, and it's, it's been weird, but um, other than that, let's just head into qualifying, hope we be on the inside lines, so when we have the start of the race, we can just go, gain a bunch of spots, and cheese it, so that, that's what I'm hoping for, that's, that's what I evidently want, or eventually want, and uh, yeah, let's get into everything. Off turn four, it felt like a decent lap to me, but I don't know. 16th, I'll take it, 23-1. Could have gotten maybe about another tenth or half a tenth on that, but still solid, but running outside though, and I don't really like that. Unless somebody gets DNQ'd and we get put in 15th, that would be nice. But jcl 8s on the pole, so that's cute. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, we're 16th, okay, that, that kind of sucks. But setup, it's on the 6, and that's about it for that, so... We'll see who got put in the back. If there was any chases on the pole, I'm very aware of that. And that was it. Okay, well, that's that's kind of disappointing. I thought I was hoping somebody would be in the back to laugh at, but that yeah, wasn't the case. And here we go. Green flag's out. We have 19 laps of fuel, or 18, I think. I'm not sure if it'll go down, but it's a 100-lap race. It's going to be decently long. We didn't really get the ideal start because I wasn't on the bottom. We'll try to do that now if we can. Nope, not really. But yeah, from what I did in practice sessions here, this track and the AI are really, really competitive. I don't know what it is with, with it. I don't know if it's me or just or what, but they they put up a good fight, so this might not be a, a clear, like, very easy cakewalk for ourselves. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. So with about 100 laps, we could make it about 20 laps in a few runs so it should be about a five stopper for us if it goes green all the way which i, I doubt but that's the, the general game plan because we're already trying to make a pass on boyer and and everything so that's good and we're almost going to crack the top 10 but really we just gotta get through this first cycle of green flag pit stops and hope that they get caught up in some lap traffic because that's one thing too i was noticing when i was practicing is lap traffic holds them up a lot and they just can't get around them so we had the bank on that too but that's a lot of like we have to get very fortunate to have it play out for a very long time for that to happen at least the green flag pit stop so like 20 30 laps or something but already doing pretty well i mean moving up to the field get to the inside of suarez the car is turning a little bit a little bit tight but the track and the seams and the way the car just jolts it's you kind of see it there it just does weird stuff right? i really can't explain it like it, it'll turn it'll turn and it'll just kind of like snap a little bit like there as you saw so it's hard to really predict how to drive it or race the car because I'm try I, i'm not going as close to the apron as i want because i'm trying to compensate for that little little kick the car does if you love the gas the right way it doesn't do it but it's, it's hard to, to like pinpoint that down exactly but, I mean, we're doing pretty good. We're keeping up with this main pack of cars, and Chase Elliott's leading. This is, it's weird. I guess it, maybe it's not weird. But you know, one thing, too, I was noticing is the uh, the draft. This draft plays a major factor here. It's it's insane. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. Like, when I was in Kurt Busch's draft there a little bit, or when a car is, like, not in the draft, you could really feel, like, the car just gaining more speed. So, there's that element to it. I guess take into account but it's kind of hard to make passes when they're two by two like that and the poor frames dropped kind of so i don't know what happened yeah we're doing good just gotta keep it on the bottom try to get to the inside of kurt no i'm not doing it so i think this was i think this is where we're gonna chill for a little bit unless uh jimmy and harvick kind of merge back on the bottom lane if they can i don't really know but we're just not there. I don't want to make a move and go 3 wide on Kurt, so we're just going to take it easy for a little bit. I said I wasn't going to go 3 wide, and here I am making it 3 wide, and it actually worked. 
Damn. Get a good run, Logano. Peek down low. Please, car stick. And it does. I actually had to use the brake a little bit just for it to turn, but it, it worked. <laughs> oh. I thought I was going to ping pong there. I was really bracing for that. Logano? All right. Yeah, we're getting there. It's just really tough. Now watch, like when I get in Hamlin's draft there, just that little bit, it just pulls me and I can get right to the inside of Logano or at least get side by side with him. It's so weird. The draft plays a pretty major factor here. Well, yeah, we're pretty good. We just need to... See, the thing I'm also worried about too is the tire fall off because like, we have about a 20 lap stint and our tires will eventually start getting pretty bad. So, I'm just worried. I don't know. I'm just... And they're poking their nose in already. Like, Suarez is desperately trying to get around me. Just got, I'm just going to hit my marks. Just going to focus in here. If I get to the inside of Hamlin, if it works out, if it doesn't, I'm not going to not gonna force anything yet. As I say that, here I am to the inside of Hamlin. But it did see, I mean, he gave me a lot of room, and there was a pretty huge opening, so... I mean, I'll gladly take it. But... Oh, you see, like, I get that little bit of draft from Kyle Busch and just pulls me. I gained a lot there, but it's not enough. Somebody's blown up. No, no clue who... I had a stroke. No clue who that was, but... Yeah. I mean, this is pretty good so far. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. But gotta get by Hamlin. If I can, I don't know. See, like, it's so weird how the draft... I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, when you saw Hamlin there on the outside, and I was just in primarily Kyle Busch's draft, it just pulled my car so much. And I can't really do anything, because it's not like I can pass Kyle or anything, so I'm just kind of, like, boxed in here. <sighs> oh, God, I thought I was going to die. I was already prepared to die. Speaking about dying, I'm about to do that going into the corner, trying to pass Kyle Busch, and it actually stuck perfectly. But it gets tight. Oh, fuck. Thank you. The universe is being very kind to me right now. I really was expecting to ping pong, but I didn't really do that. But I did drift up the track, though, and gave Suarez a, a perfect opportunity to just drive right by me. So, all right. You know, I finally got up to second, and then I just immediately lose it, and we'll start dropping more spots. Thank goodness we'll be pitting in the next four laps, because this car, um, it sucks, to put it lightly, at this point in the run. There goes Chase Elliott and Truex down throw. Not sure about... Okay, Harvick is pitting. That was perfect, too, because this car... <laughs> it doesn't like to turn anymore. So, thank goodness we'll be doing that in the next uh, two laps. But, yeah, with them pitting that early, they're going to have to take, like, an extra additional stop, so they'll have to take at least six in the race. Which, uh... Oh, my God. Haley Deacon! <gasps> How did nobody hit him? Hit her. I think somebody did. What the... Oh my god, Haley Deegan be literally became a moving chicane. She became one with the track and became an, a roadblock. And uh, somehow everybody dodged her. Is she still on the track? I don't. How did nobody not hit her? Um, okay, well, she's gone. I, I don't know if she ghosted or became Danny Phantom or what, but she's not on the track. We're going to pit this lap. Just take it easy. 35. And perfect. Four tires and fuel, and we'll be out in the way. I'm going to lower the wedge a little bit in the car, too. Just just half a round. Just half a round. What is this mess up in front of me? But yeah, that's the only adjustment. I never really make adjustments of the car. So that's one of the instances that I'll, I'll, just, I'll loosen it up just a little bit. Pretty decent stop, all things considered, with this game. That's actually pretty good. And because we pitted so much later, I'd like to think because of that, we can somehow have a good in-lap speed and then a good out-lap speed because we saw a bunch of those cars heading down Piro and that was like a big stack of them. So, maybe it'll work out, but then again, we're eighth and we did drop some spots, so. Yeah, but the only thing that's good is that we're going to have to take one less pit stop compared to everybody else, so. I think we'll be okay. I mean, we're not even that far back. It's only four and a half seconds. It's not too bad. And I think they'll be catching lap traffic too, so. We could definitely close in that gap a lot more, I would think. Unless they... I don't even know if they caught lap traffic. I'm not really sure. But... It's spread out, so that's good. And we can just kind of make passes and go up the grid from there. And we are gaining time. Not 
that's always good. And now we're going to try to get around our Almirola on the outside or try to kind of arc it. Oh, holy drift. <laughs> good God. Yeah, that's what I meant. This is weird how this truck track drives sometimes. I just don't get why it just, like, kicks out like that. But, yeah, we're closing in on the leader. I, maybe they're in lap traffic now. I, I'm not sure. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, I see. I think that's... I don't know. Is that Corey LaJoy? Somebody up there? I don't know. But we're having one hell of a time trying to get around that. I'm gonna roll up. Unless I dive bomb it. That, that works too. And... That was a little dirty. But we got seventh. Okay, so lap traffic is out there. And it's holding people up. We got Daniel Hamrick back here. And uh, Kennington too. So now we gotta maneuver around them. Suarez has had problems too. And I... <laughs> Daniel Hamrick, can you please move? Stacking everyone up. Eric Jones had the bright idea. I should have went on the outside. But I just can't. Okay, now we can. Okay, beautiful. Now he's got to get around Kennington. Kligerman. That's Kligerman. Oh my god. I thought that was Kennington. I'm so sorry. I thought it was Kennington all this time. Alright. We're going to get by him, no problem. And... We got more lap traffic, and we're closing in on the leader. It was about like four and a half. Now it's only 3.2, so we're closing in. So that's always good. And we'll get a good run on Suarez. And we'll almost get the spot. We should get a good run off the corner and the draft from all those cars up in front of me. And we do, up to P6. Damn, this is a nice little green flag run to the inside of Eric Jones. Sorensen kind of moves up for me, so that was nice. Ooh, yellow flag. Damn. Um, oh man, this is going to be awkward because we're fifth. We could possibly stay out, but we're almost halfway through our field run. How many are, are on lead lap? Uh, a bunch of back markers are hitting. 31st, okay, 31. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. This is like an awkward time. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay out. I don't know. It felt like the best decision. I don't know. Maybe I should have just pitted. I, I don't know. Right, but we're fifth. So we got track position. We got the bottom lane. So what, what we can do is just have an amazing start like this. And <laughs> see you later field. Maybe not because they're pretty competitive. So. But yeah, we got the lead. And I'm just going to hold on to this for, for dear life until I have the pit. So Please... Just let me just survive. Yeah, that caught up to me. I'm just not as quick as him. Oh, God, almost, he almost got me. Yeah, they're right there. I'll be pinning in the next couple of laps, though, so it's not horrible. I think Truex has actually pinned this lap, so that, that makes things a little bit easier. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if uh, staying out there was the right call. I'm, I'm not sure. But I, I don't know. But we got a couple more laps we got to stay out here for, and... Just try to survive and hang on. I'll be pitting this lap. So, four tires and fuel like before. Slow it down. Slow down. Perfect. Alright. So, again, just four tires and fuel and we'll be out of the way. 15.5 seconds. So, it's actually, I think, a tenth faster than the other one. Last stop. So, or a second. I don't know, but... We're 15th now. Again, we have to remember there's a bunch of people that stayed out or pitted there. So... It's expected. <laughs> okay, Almirola, have fun, but yeah, it's, um... Damn, we... Okay, we're just two laps down. I thought we were three. It's like, oh, good lord. But yeah, it's, um... We're gonna get one of them back right now. At least I would hope so. And... Uh, we do. Alright, beautiful. Everybody else that pitted under that initial, like, first yellow. They're heading down pit road, at least the majority of them. Now, at this rate, we're going to cycle out to virtual P1, and then Shurex will be about two seconds back in seconds, so... We surprisingly got a good enough buffer to him, so... We're good for a big chunk of this run, so as long as we kind of maintain that, or even if we lose a second of it, we'll be pretty comfortable, so... Just got to see how this kind of plays out. Alright, so everything's cycled out. Shurex is now 2.4 seconds back now. There is some lab traffic behind me that Shurex has to na uh, navigate through, and we've gone around him pretty okay. We kind of bumped into Minar there, didn't mean that, but... Yeah, so Truex having a bit of a hard time. We're just... We're good. I mean, 
this is like perfect best case scenario unless you know somehow those guys that that pitted yeah, initially wow <laughs> holy shit that was that was that was disgusting how perfectly timed that was it's like as if it was scripted but it wasn't <laughs> So everybody's pinning at the con okay Eric, Eric Amarola is in, so that's kind of okay. A couple of them aren't, but we got to keep in mind that these aren't the super duper fast cars in the race, so this should actually be a very big benefit for when we do pit. So yeah, because then we'll have a bunch of slow cars holding up the fast cars, and I would like that quite a bit. We're sixth. Okay, so yeah, I mean. Yeah, as long as we could just somehow get to the bottom here on this restart, I don't know how we're going to do that, but we'll find a way. There we go. Chris Busher, you're, you're my teammate. Please move. Thank you. That was a little, little aggressive, but we got there. Now we just got to get back to the lead. Now, Almirola obviously has not been fast in this race, but he should have a decent enough car to kind of hold up everyone, maybe. I don't know. Should be competitive enough. But we'll see. Good run through four. Try to get a run on him. Try to make the pass on him going into the corner. And with the car being so fresh on tires, it should stick without really much of an issue. Just gonna take it easy. Try to get this right. Peek down low. And, okay, he's giving me room. I appreciate that. Car sticks to the bottom. Put up the gas a bit just in case it's going to snap. And it, and it didn't, so that was perfect. Now we're side by side. We show the preferred lane in the turn one. And there we go. We'll go up the track a little bit. And we got the lead. And we're good. And we have a bunch of slow cars holding up the fast cars. And that is very good. So we just got to run run away at the time. Like, that's that's that, that's our main goal is just run away. What the? <gasps> Daniel Hamrick. Oh, God. El Marilla just drilled him. And that's a big wreck. Yep. I figured, I figured that would be each other. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm a roll. That's the second time he's gotten in a big wreck. God damn. <laughs> Daniel Hamrick's being a complete scrub this race. Oh my goodness. So, we got some people pitting. I'm... Uh, even if we stay out, we're still gonna take two more pit stops. We'll be close, but doing this will make, be certain that we'll have to take one green flag pit stop. So I think it's in our best interest now to pit here and kind of, you know, see what happens. And we're going to be 21st, so running inside line, which is good. Now, yeah, even with that, you know, caution, uh, we would have 11 laps in fuel. It would have been really close to making it on just one more, like, stop, I think. 31, yeah. I think we would have been... I don't know if we could have made it. It would have been really close. But now this kind of makes it so we'll have to pit with about 11, 12 to go. And it should be good. Yeah, great start nonetheless. That was that was disgusting. But this is more of kind of a strategy now race sort of until another caution comes out. Maybe around lap 80. <laughs> and then it just... Then everybody can make it on fuel. That would be kind of terrible because that would completely destroy our strategy. Especially if I do shit like that. That doesn't make things a lot any easier. We got some cars headed down pit road. And, yeah. That, that, we'll just see how this all kind of plays out, so. And we'll pit about lap 88, roughly. And then when we do, we'll just take just right sides. Because our rights are going to definitely need it. And just kind of hope that it plays out. And we have a big enough lead and hang on to the end. That's That's my guess. But as of now, we're just going to hang out, ride this out. And I kind of, I didn't really cry. I just said the same word twice. But yeah, we got the lead. And now we'll just you know, pit when we need to in another about nine laps. Or I can pit now, but I don't want to get pinned or trapped a lap down if that happens. I don't know. But just, I'm, I don't know. I'm hoping this works out. All right. Four tires and fuel. And this car sucks. I don't know. I hope this is the right call that I'm making. I'm just not totally sure. So we'll put in enough fuel that we need. That should be good. We're going to go with four tires. That might be a bad idea, but this car sucks so much. And the I checked the... You can see the percentages. Like, even the lefts aren't even that good. So we just got to go with four. I just... I don't know. I don't know. I just hope black traffic screws them. I don't know. 
14.5 and there's already a spin. <laughs> yes, we played it out perfectly. Yeah, that was totally bullshit, but I'll take it. It was perfect that I got four tires there. Oh my god. There was a spin as I was leaving pit road and that was a, a disgusting one. Oh my, we only got 20 on the lead lap. Brad Kozlowski and friends are laps down and Oh my, we got a bunch of slow-ish cars up here. Oh my god, we might have just won this race. Maybe. Holy shit, we might be able to do it. Alright, well, we'll restart here and get a disgusting start. And um, Harvick's the first one that pitted there in 7th that's on fresh tires. But again, they have to get around those other cars and we only have 8 to go or something. So, yeah, I mean, they're... It's going to be very difficult for them. And eight laps, I mean, our car is still really great eight laps into a run, so. It, it might be just, it just might be enough to hold them all off. Damn, we might just go nine in a freaking row. Two to go, and we're pulling away from Almirola, about a, about a tenth or so a lap. And those slower cars, like Joey Gase, um, they're holding up those guys big time. <laughs> Harvick's five seconds back, like, that's how bad it is. And we're just cruising. I could be uh, making the corners a little bit tighter, but just playing a little bit safe. I mean, we got a second lead. We don't need to go too all out. I mean, we didn't really have the absolute best car. It was pretty pretty damn good, but just, I guess, pit strategy and lap down cars and slower cars being up at the front just kind of played out in our favors. So, um, through three and four, a little bit shitty there, but we're going to go nine in a, nine in a row. Nine in a fudging row. I <laughs> Oh my god, I got no words. This has been an, an absolutely disgusting season. I have no words. I just I assure you, auto hard difficulty is harder than 105, but this is just a level of domination that I don't think I was emotionally prepared for. And we're already doing like an almost 200 plus burnout, so that's always good. But yeah, I, I, I'm done. So on lap 63, this was our first yellow, and this is with Hemrick merging out. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's doing a victory burnout. And I I just barely get by. And then uh, poor Al Marola just had nowhere to go, and that's just... Oh, boy, that was a, that, that's a mess. That's a, So many cars just got wrecked right there. Oh, my God. And then there was, like, that last um, caution with, like, 12 to go or something. That one, I really want to see how that played out, because that was a violent wreck, it looked like. Um... I think I'll show it here. Okay, Chase and Brad get into it. And I, I think Chase just simply blew a tire going into the corner and just spun him down. Or, no, it was somebody else. I guess it was Brad. And, oh, it just clipped Oh, Okay, well, that explains the, the caution, I guess. But, man, on lap 98, there was an issue. Um, oh, oh, it was just Lugano moving. Okay, well, that wasn't really... That wasn't much to talk about. <laughs> so, finishing results... Joey Gay's fourth. <laughs> um, very weird. And Dave Reagan, I think, got in the top teams or something. But yeah, and Brad 35th, and Hamlin 37th, and Boyer 38th. Um, a little weird. But um, David Reagan 14th. Again, he's still trying to be in that top 10 in the points, and he still is. <laughs> God. Nine in a row, and Harvick's now in, uh, well, he's been in second for a while, but now Truex moves up to third. And, yeah, that, that there's your top ten. I I got no words. Like, I... Oh, my good God. Denny Hamlet with the fastest laps of 22-9. And we led the most laps with 52 out of 100, so that's cute. And who got the biggest mover? Definitely Joey Gase, because... I don't know. And Denny Hamlin, tough break. 7-37. to 37. That's That's awful. After Dover, we have Pocono, and I like to say that we wouldn't really have a chance at Pocono, but anything's possible now in this game, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just surprised. Landon Castle is still outrunning Bowman in terms of points. I'm just, I'm just curious if Dave Reagan can legitimately get top 10 in the standings. I mean, he's damn, we're almost halfway through the season, and he, he might be able to pull it off. I don't know. It's just, that's crazy to me. And Clint Boyer's 21st, and Newman's 25th. That's not right. And Haley Deegan's running better than Brendan Gaughan. 
And Austin Dillon's 36th. Oh my. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dan Reynolds, Weather Bros, Comic Cousin Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave of Better Champ 15 Racing News Now, Alan Gray, Murder Sports Games, Robert Dillon, and Zach Page for a donation again. I can't thank guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel every single month like this. It does me a lot, and like usual, I very much appreciate it, and you guys are always awesome for your help. I'll see you all next part for Pocono. It's my home track, and it is it is fun to race on in this game, so maybe we'll win. I, I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. It's just the season's broken me. I, <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll see you all next part, and I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.